Hi, it's Nick from Hobby Electronics and in this video I'll be taking a look at the Freetronics RGB LED Cube. You can purchase one of these LED cubes from Freetronics.com. Okay, so let's first take a look at the contents of the box. The package comes with four PCBs, four plastic standoffs, a micro USB cable, two rubber bands, a base PCB, and our RGB LEDs. Okay, so let's begin by inserting our LEDs and soldering them in place. With the Freetronics text towards you, insert the LEDs into the board, positioning the long leg of the LED into the holes marked with a horizontal dash. Now do this for all four boards. Once all of the LEDs have been soldered into the four panels, we can then attach the plastic standoffs to the base PCB. Once all four are attached, using some pliers we can then detach the eight vertical supports from their frame. Each of the eight supports are labelled with the unique ID. We can then apply some solder to each of the vertical support tabs. We can then begin to solder in the vertical supports, making sure that you solder them in the correct positions. Once all four vertical supports are soldered in on one side, we can then insert our first LED panel, using another vertical support on the opposite side to hold the panel in place. At this stage, using a rubber band will help hold the cube together. Once all of the LED panels have been inserted, we can then solder the remaining vertical supports in their appropriate places. Once you've soldered all of the appropriate connections, we can then connect our micro USB cable to a USB power supply, and connect the other end to the cube. You will then see the example sketch run, 